One of the biggest, stupidest myths about martial arts and combat sports is the idea that the defensive maneuvers from boxing, kickboxing, and MMA will no longer work if you take off the gloves. If you honestly believe that an inch of foam in front of your face is going to stop a 900-pound punch, pay attention to this video. It's going to save you a lot of brain cells in the long run. This myth stems from a fundamental misunderstanding of basic technique. Now pay attention, you just might learn something. Hey, it's Ramsey Dewey over here in Shanghai, China. So, I got a ton of comments about how you can't do boxing style blocks without gloves and that's absolutely false. That's patently false, especially covering up. If I put my hands here, right? Here, punch me please. All right, what part of my arm am I actually blocking with? My hands? No. My forearms. Okay, here, throw that punch and hold it when you connect. Right there, look at this. The gloves cover up the hands. They add about an inch of foam, okay? If you are trying to stop a punch by putting your hands in front of your face, you're gonna get hurt. You're gonna get hurt quite badly. He's going to smash your hands and smash your face through that. I got another question. How am I supposed to see my opponent when I'm covering up? Well, for those of you with two functioning eyes, <laughs> you lucky ones, okay, you have the gift of sight. I'm actually, I got a blind spot in one eye. My last, my last fight left me with a blind spot, so I don't focus so much on what I can see. But if you want to see, just leave a little space between your arms right there when you cover up. But more important than that is feeling. When he throws a punch and it lands, I know exactly where he is at that moment. I can feel it. I don't even have to see him. Although I can, I can see him clear as day through this two inch space between my arms. That's no problem at all. So, you ever see Ryoto Murata, Japanese Olympic gold medalist boxer, went on to have a pro fighting career? Watch his pro fights, not the amateur ones. And he does this beautiful thing with his guard, right? He baits the other guy in, moves into this range where he's throwing straight punches, and he follows the guy back, right? He'll throw the straight punches, catch him on the forearm, and follow them back. It's, it's such a beautiful way to fight. Very low risk, high reward, okay? But in your other video, you wore gloves. Do it without those giant pillows on your hands. But we didn't just cover up. We parried, we caught the punches, we did some other stuff. Let's, let's break that down. Here, throw some straight punches in my face, please. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So I'm using my hand like a focus mitt, exactly the same thing I was doing in the boxing glove. The boxing glove has about a millimeter, maybe two millimeters of leather over your palms. There's no padding there at all. So it's the exact same thing. The only difference is you're slapping a bare knuckle instead of a padded surface. Why do we wear boxing gloves in the first place? It's to protect your hands so you can throw harder, so you can throw heavier so you can do more damage to the other guy while doing less damage to your own hands. It is not to serve as a protective shield to your head. Okay? How about parrying? Here, throw some more punches at me. This is the exact same technique with the palm of my hand. The palm is not padded. If anything, this is easier because there's no weight on my hands at all. And so I can parry and counter Again, without the weight on my hands, which reminds me of something a lot of Wing Chun guys do. A lot of people from uh, tr these traditional martial arts like Wing Chun, Bagua Zhang, a lot of Chinese martial arts where there's a lot of fine motor movement with this hand fighting. And they'll say, oh, I can't do my Wing Chun with boxing gloves on. And the only reason that would be true is if you're not used to it. Right? Hand fighting, trapping, all that stuff works in boxing. Anytime I make a YouTube video where I discuss hand fighting and trapping, a bunch of Wing Chun guys will say, hey, my Sifu taught me that thing. I've never been able to do it though. <sighs> well, the only way to be able to do it is to hand fight, right? So if I'm doing something like that, right, or I'm <laughs> doing these speed bag patterns, let's slow that down, get to the guard up, hit this down, hit him here, hit this here, hit him here, basic speed bag pattern there. 
this one, the reverse punching or the linking, right? That's a hand fighting pattern, right? Or this one, right? You know, that's actually easier to do without the boxing gloves because there's no weight on it. But if you find it difficult to do this stuff with boxing gloves on, just put the gloves on, shadow box that stuff on a daily basis until it starts feeling easier. What else do we do? Blocking hooks. Here, throw a hook in my head, please. Again. Again. So what am I actually blocking the hook with? My forearm, this meaty part, my shoulder. Not with the glove. I mean, the, the hand is there just in case, just in case that punch comes to the back of my head. Boom. Okay, it's much better to get hit on the hand. And yeah, I'm not gonna lie, an inch of foam is gonna be better than not getting hit with that inch of foam. But um, yeah, man. You throw some more hooks at my head, please. Yeah, Again. Right side. Again. Yeah, right side. Now I've got a smaller margin of error because he's not wearing gloves. Yes, so I gotta so. make sure this space is tight. If I keep it loose and get lazy, if you do that in a, in a boxing match or a kickboxing match, even with 16 ounce gloves, you're gonna pay for it. All right, so I gotta get really tight. Boom. Yeah, now no space. Yeah, so there's no space to get in there. Just flex your bicep a little bit as you slide this hand through your imaginary hair, right? Here, throw that again a little faster. And you're probably thinking, oh, he's not throwing very fast. Why not? Because he's not wearing gloves. And when you're punching hard bones with bare knuckles, what does that do? Yeah, it's gonna break his hands. In the last video, I, I was blocking some punches with my forehead, and he was throwing a full contact punch at my head, and what did I do? I headbutted it. What would happen if he throws this? Let's do that nice and slow, right? Yeah, I would. Aim for the chin nice and slow, boom, but that's full speed. Well, it'll, it'll leave a mark on my forehead. It might cut the skin, but it's gonna break his hand, right? Yeah. It's like hitting the wall full power. How else can we block? We can block with the elbows. Man, there's a speed bag pattern where you bring the elbows up like this, right? And let's do this really slow because I don't want to break your hand. Boom, right? Or the other one, boom. Are you okay? I yeah, yeah, yeah. felt a little click right there, right? Yeah, but you yeah, see that, and we're going really super slow right there. With boxing gloves on, you can do this full speed without risk of injuring your training partners. And when you can do something full speed, you know what you can do? You get more reps. And when you get more reps, you get more experience. That means you can really do it in real life. Okay. So here Ali, just throw some punches at me and let's... Uh... How about bobbing and weaving? That's another thing we talked about, bobbing and weaving. Right, and for some reason people were saying, Bobbing and weaving won't work without gloves. That works much better than anything. That's the best. Think that through for a minute. Bobbing and weaving won't work without gloves. I'm not touching you with gloves. I know, man. Here, throw, throw some punches at my head, please. I'm going to put my hands down. Go ahead. My hands are not even participating here. Yeah, doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I don't have gloves. I don't touch them. So, you know, I think what really happened, because we were talking about the Karate Kid, about that scene where Mr. Miyagi is throwing punches, stopping the punches six inches away from Daniel's face as Daniel does these, these karate blocks. And I said, reality isn't like that. And all the guys who spent 10, 20 years doing karate doing these blocks, imagining themselves beating UFC fighters like this. Got really mad about it. Anyway, so <laughs> I'm rambling a bit. Here, throw, throw some more punches at me. So I'm parrying, right? Catching, slipping, bobbing, weaving, shoulder rolling. Yeah, you can shoulder roll. Philly shell right there, parry. <laughs> Block with the forearm. Do all the same counter punching. So the point I'm trying to bring up is the gloves, the gloves don't matter. The gloves give you some weight on your hand. The gloves allow you to punch more recklessly. 
what the gloves do not do is give you a license to use bad technique. If you're doing this, oh man, this is important, this is so important. If you were trying to block a punch like this and he throws a punch and it hits your hand, what just happened to that hand? It hits you in the face. I got knocked out in a fight this way, my very first pro Muay Thai fight, right? I'm fighting this big aggressive guy who comes out with a combination, his right hand collides with my left hand, boom. And that was the result. I got knocked out with my own hand. That can, that does happen, right? If you're out there fighting and you see some dude with his hands a couple inches away from his face, trying to stop punches with padding on his gloves, just punch his gloves, boom. Anyway, fix your technique if you're trying to stop punches with padding. Thanks for watching. Now get out there and train. We did this demo without gloves, but you don't have to. Find a great new pair of gloves at xmarshall.com. And as always, find an awesome variety of rash guards for all your combat sports needs. xmarshall.com. Don't forget to use my code RAMSEY10 for 10% off literally everything on the website. It helps this channel out a lot. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, get out there and train.